So before you guys purchase Topaz Photo AI, make sure you check out this video. Now, my name is Austin James Jackson. I'm a landscape photographer based here in beautiful southern Utah. And in today's video, I am talking about Topaz Photo AI. Now, I want to start the video off by mentioning that I am not paid to make this video. Topaz is not paying me or commissioning me or even telling me to make this video. However, I do have a discount code, which does give me a very small kicker if you do purchase any software at the end of this video. And you may be thinking, I'm just doing this for the money, but to be honest with you guys, I could pretty much get an affiliate link for a variety of different softwares. And if there was a better software out there, I would recommend it to you and use their discount code um, for you guys to get a discount and me to get a little kicker. I do really, really like the Topaz software and I wanted to share with you guys a few reasons why I am using something a little bit different than Topaz Photo AI and why I think you guys should hold off on buying Topaz Photo AI and buying something else. Now, I know if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you guys probably know I'm a huge fan of the Topaz software and I've been using Topaz Photo AI for a while and it wasn't until recently that I realized I actually like the older Topaz products better which you can still buy in a bundle. Usually the bundle is the same price as Topaz Photo AI. Now the difference isn't incredibly different so if you already own Topaz Photo AI there's no reason for you to be bummy about it and to wish that you'd bought the other software but before you buy them I would recommend buying the image quality bundle which includes Denoise, Sharpen as well as Gigapixel over Topaz as Photo AI. I'll show you guys on my screen here um, a few differences between the softwares that I think make the image quality bundle a little bit better for most photographers. So right now you're looking at Topaz Photo AI here and originally when I purchased this software uh, I was really really excited about it because uh, it looked basically just like what their other apps Denoise, uh, Sharpen, and Gigapixel did all put into one package which Essentially it is, but it's done in a little bit less complicated way. Now, depending on your skill level as a photographer, this might be ideal for you, but for a lot of you guys like me, you may want the absolute best results and the most control, and Topaz Photo AI doesn't quite offer it. Let me show you what I mean. So here in Topaz Photo AI, first we're gonna compare it to Denoise. Now, obviously, like I said, one of the main advantages here to Topaz Photo AI is that it is a combination of all three of the softwares. So you can see that we can remove noise, we can sharpen, uh, and we can recover faces and enhance the resolution and upscale. So the bottom three are basically features of Gigapixel, whereas Sharpen is obviously a feature of Sharpen AI and Remove Noise is a feature of Denoise AI. Now, let me show you guys an example. I'm just gonna turn the Sharpen off. We'll go to Remove Noise first. So the reason why I think this is not as good as the regular Denoise is because the only options you have here are to remove noise and you can choose normal or strong. You can adjust the strength and the detail. Now, when we actually go to Topaz Denoise, noise AI here, you can see we have a lot more options. So we've got options to choose the AI model, model preferences, and then do a little bit of post-processing as well. So when I'm here, uh, especially denoising, a lot of times I wanna change the AI model. Now you don't have to know which model works best. You can simply check the little lightning box here, which will automatically select the model, um, which usually works pretty well, but there's some photos where it doesn't work that well. And so for that reason, you might wanna try a different AI model. Now the other benefit that I really like that is available in Denoise, Sharpen, and Gigapixel is the option to see four different previews at once called the comparison view. Now this comparison view is really nice because you can see it automatically populates with a few different options here. Um, so for example, on the top left box, we've got it showing standard, then it's showing clear, and then it's showing low light, and it's showing severe noise. So I can see how the denoise software is working for multiple different models. Let's zoom into 200%. Now, every time you zoom, each model has to re-update, but you can see how it's working for each and every model. And then you can further refine that um, by selecting which one works best. So for example, I can tell that clear doesn't work good. I don't like all of this artifacting that it's adding here. Um, and I honestly think that probably standard is working the best. So now that I know that standard's working the best, I can click on clear here and I can change this to standard and I can check the box so that it automatically selects the preferences. And now you can see that there's gonna be standard over here as well as standard over here. And I can adjust these settings. I can make all four of these standard and I can use different settings for each and every one. And I can compare the results of each and every one 
down here. So it's really nice to be able to compare all the results at once and choose the one that's the best. Now in photo AI, you don't have the option to put up four different previews trying different things at once. So it's really nice to have this because as you can see, um, like down here, standard, the one where we used 100 remove noise, it's just totally flattened everything, so that's too much. But maybe down here where we've only used nine, you can see it's not really removing any noise at all. And you might be able to see that better on a different part of the image, but I just wanna show you um, the differences here in the software. So you've got a lot more options and not only the AI model, as well as um, the ability to get the comparison view here. Um, the model preferences are very, very similar. You've got remove noise and enhanced sharpness, which in Topaz Photo AI pretty much much, um, I think kind of correlates to the strength and detail, although the enhanced sharpness would correlate more to the sharpen. Now, compared to Topaz Sharpen AI, when you open up the Sharpen box, you only have a few options here for sharpening standard, lens blur, or motion blur, and then some strength and clarity options. When you go to Topaz Sharpen AI, the software itself, again, you have a lot of different options for a model. So you can check the box here if you want, and it's going to choose out of focus, very noisy, meaning that it is going to, when I check this box, uh, not only is it gonna remove blur, but it's going to suppress noise as well. So Topaz Sharpen is really nice for this. It does actually a really nice job uh, removing noise and probably not as good as Denoise, but if you just need one program to get the job done, Sharpen AI is a lot cheaper than Photo AI, and you can get a lot done in terms of denoising as well as sharpening in this software as well. Um, and again, I really like having the option for the sharpen model because a lot of times um, the software, even Topaz Photo AI, doesn't do a great job of picking out the model. Whereas here in sharpen AI, I can go ahead and choose exactly which model. So I know on my photo, for example, uh, maybe I just shot it barely out of focus, um, but it's just out of focus normal. I can select out of focus normal, or if it's noisy as well, I can select very noisy, or if it's out of focus and it's really far out of focus, I can select out of focus very blurry. So I've got a lot of options and once again I have the comparison view that I can use in order to get the best result here on my photo which again I really really like having the option to have the comparison view to do all that. When you're doing the model parameters you can also choose if it's a lens blur or motion blur. Now this would be things like lens blur is going to be something like maybe the corners are soft because um, you don't have the highest quality lens whereas motion blur is going to be something like maybe there's a car that's moving or a person that's moving or a cheetah that's running or whatever it is something that moves fast um, and then you also have the option here to select so if you do select you can apply it to subjects um, people portraits skyline or landscapes or custom this is going to allow you to sharpen just a particular custom part of the image and not sharpen the image as a whole which is really, really helpful in order to just sharpen little parts of your image. Now this select is going to allow you to just sharpen certain parts of your image, which can be really beneficial because most of the time you're probably not gonna wanna sharpen the whole image, whether you're a landscape photographer, portrait photographer, cityscapes, there's probably um, all over your image does not need to be sharpened. So it's nice to have the option to select this here and just sharpen the subject, which is AI determined by the software. And you can of course refine it. There's a little bit better refining options here in Topaz Sharpening AI than there is in Topaz Photo AI. Now lastly, compared to Gigapixel AI, you're not going to see as many differences as you did in Denoise AI and Sharpen AI. Um, compared to Gigapixel AI, you still have the option to enhance the resolution and recover the faces. Um, there's not as many models to choose from for enhanced resolution. Um, and recover faces is grayed out because this image doesn't have faces, but it does have a few more features than you're going to see in Gigapixel. So for that aspect, you actually might have more features here in Photo AI. You also have the ability to upscale one times, two times, um, whatever it determines is the maximum or to choose your own width and height. Now if sharpening for prints, I actually prefer Topaz Gigapixel here. You've got a few more options. You can adjust the output width as well as the pixels per unit, um, or you can change the model to do scale, uh, just like you saw in Topaz Photo AI either, or height. So you can do height or width, width, um, and then you can change the AI model as well. If you want to do standard, uh, it shows you a little example here of what standard would look like, or you can do something like lines if it's cityscape, um, art, which is going to be your things like uh, renderings and other graphics things that are created on the computer. You can do low resolution or very compressed as well, which is going to allow 
a little bit better options, I think, than what is available in Topaz Photo AI. We've also got settings here. If you want to suppress the noise or remove the blur, you can do that as well. It's better done in Topaz Sharpen or Topaz Denoise, but of course, if you just want a one-size-fits-all software, you can do that here as well. And then you've got additional settings to reduce the color bleed, which is not available in Photo AI, and then you can do some face refinement as well. You just check the box and it refines the faces, and that is that. So that's how you use Gigapixel here. Again, I do think that it is a little bit more advanced than what the options that are available in Topaz Photo AI. Now, if you guys think we are nitpicking here, it's because we are. There is definitely, um, Topaz Photo AI is a great software and there's definitely a lot of great things about it. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is that I do think the image quality bundle is a little bit more advanced. It has a little bit more options um, and you can definitely do a little bit more with it. I was noticing this because I was trying to remove some noise from a few of my photos and Photo AI just wasn't getting the job done. So I went ahead and I tried it in Denoise AI and I was able to change the model and get a lot better results. So you might see some better results if you are willing to spend a little bit more time. Now Topaz Photo AI is gonna be meant for those photographers that want a one size fits all program to run it all, run your image through all three things at once and spit it out looking really, really nice. But if you're willing to spend the time, you should get uh, the software, the image quality bundle, which has all three softwares and you can do each software individually. That is my recommendation. Or if you only need one of the features, like you only need to denoise or you only need to sharpen or you only need to resize, you can just buy one of the softwares, which is a lot cheaper. Otherwise, if you're spending the money, I, like I said, get the image quality bundle if you're willing to put in the time and have a few more softwares rather than spending the money on Photo AI, which does work great, but I think that it's a little bit better to use the three softwares because they're going to work a little bit better if you're willing to spend the time and adjust the settings and fine tune it. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you're going to purchase either of these softwares, make sure to use my discount code, my link down below. As I mentioned before, this gets me a very small kicker. Uh, and it, lastly, if this video was helpful for you and you want to learn more photography tips to help you become a better photographer, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm posting videos every single week trying to help you guys become better photographers as fast as possible with my quick and to the point videos where I try and give you some meaty content that's going to help you to improve your photography as quickly as possible without wasting any time. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. We will see you guys next weekend. Have a good one. Bye-bye.